everybody. It's Mrs. Mappus again. Here we are on Monday, and I apologize that the lighting isn't very good. We are having a very gloomy day outside on top of being quarantined in our houses today, so I have all the lights on in my bedroom. And if this keeps up, I may have to invest in some better lighting, but this is what we got right now. So I'm happy to be here with you again. I hope you had a good weekend. And as you can see, I'm gonna sing first today. And I wanted to sing something that we could move to a little bit. Um, I went out on the boat with Mr. Scott on Saturday. It was a beautiful day. And it made me think of a song that I we've never done in class and I've done before in uh, my other classes and children's choir and stuff like that just for a fun one and it's called my bonnie lies over the ocean and maybe you know it um but anyway this my bonnie lies over the ocean you can see why even though we don't have an ocean we have a lake that's okay uh, my bonnie lies over the sea my bonnie lies over the ocean oh bring back my bonnie to me and then we go bring back bring back oh bring back my bonnie to me to me bring back bring back oh bring back my bonnie to me so not gonna do the echo thing just because it's a pretty simple one so i'm gonna play it and i'm gonna sing it for you and hopefully you'll sing along with me and then i'll show you what we're gonna do to make it a little bit more fun all right here we go my bonnie lies over the ocean Hard, huh? Okay, but this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put my strap on for this now because what we're gonna do is every time we sing uh, a word with that starts with B, then we're going to stand up if we are sitting down or sit down if we are standing up. Okay, I'm gonna go kind of slow. You know, Miss Mappis moves a little bit slow and her knees aren't great, so I'm gonna do it in a chair. If you have a couch or something, or if you want to go all the way up and down the floor because you're young and strong, I am going to move back a little bit so you can see me. So we can go back and forth. Okay, I'm going to do it kind of slow this time so I can do it too. Hopefully my guitar won't fall off of me. All right. Here we go. So every time there's a B, stand up or sit down. Okay, here we go. My body lies over the ocean. to do the uh, chords on the guitar. Remember that and hit all the B's going up and down. Okay, but I wanted to play the guitar today. All right, so now I'm gonna do it where I'm just gonna stay here and I'm gonna do a little faster for you so you can try it one more time with standing up and down, all right? So I'm gonna sing it fast and you can do the standing up. Here we go. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body That's a little tough one, isn't it? Okay, so that's a Scottish folk tune. I looked it up. It's been around for a long, long time. No one's really 100% sure why they wrote it. But a fun one to do today. You can play that back some and keep doing that up and down if you want to. Of course, once you learn to sing it, you can do it yourself. I hope you're singing lots of songs and listening to lots of music because it's so important that we do that and keep our spirits up, even when it's not exactly nice outside. Although Mr. Scott did just take Greta and Roxy for a walk. Um, 
because they needed it. So the rain stopped a little bit, so maybe you can get outside for a little while. All right, one other thing I want to show you, and that is um, a craft idea that I sent your parents in an email last night. And what you need for this one is an empty toilet uh, paper roll. Now, don't waste the toilet paper. You can also use a paper towel roll and cut it in half and that will be fine. This one was empty. Okay, we're all trying to really be careful of how much we're using right now. And I also had a paper towel one that um, I used, <clears throat> but I just used all the paper towels. I folded them up so we can keep using them. So that's really, really important. You need a piece of paper and a little bit of paint. I have don't have any of our school paint here, so I am using some paint. We're in the process of still working on our house, so I'm going to use some of the white paint here that I have, and I'm just going to use that lid. And I have this on a um, piece of newspaper, and what you do is first you just take it on a piece of paper. And I wish I had some colored paper. It would my white wouldn't show up on white, so that's all I have. But you know, you take what you get right now. So I have a piece of brown, and that one will work. So what we're going to do is we take this and we put it in the paint. Can you see that? It's hard to see. And then you just press it on your paper like that. So it makes a circle. I'm going to do just a couple of them. I'm going to spread them out pretty good because we're going to get ready for Easter here. Um, our spring break is next week and then we only have one more week and then it's Easter. So I was like, well, we're ready to start crafts now. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper roll and you're going to bend it up at the top of one end. So it makes almost like a teardrop shape. So I'm going to bend it all the way down. All right. So about like that. And I'm going to dip it back in the paint. I thought it was going to fall off. And I'm going to put it up at the top of the circle like that. And I'm going to do two for each one. All right. And what this is going to make, if you think Easter, and you think of what that is, what it might look like. Let's see if you can tell when I show you. Hopefully it looks like little Easter bunny heads. This turned out pretty good. It's important to make sure you dip it back in the paint, and you don't need very much at all. Um, doesn't even look like you use any. So then what you can do, and I did this one earlier, is take those. And again, I'm short on markers. So I did pink on the insides, which is hard to tell again in this light, for the ears and pink noses. And I did some different eyeballs there, um, like we've learned in directed drawing, so I can try some different ones. And put little mouths and then some whiskers. And put a little bit of grass. I tried some taller over here. I think I like the shorter better though, but that's just me. Put a sun up here. It didn't show up great on my brown paper, but I wanted it to be sunny in my picture. And now I have a great picture of some bunny rabbits or Easter bunny rabbits. And that's a nice easy craft you can do. So I'm going to look and see again who I have gotten addresses from. I think I've gotten them from most people and I'll be mailing this out and I'll actually finish the other one too. So I'll have two things to mail out um, to you, to a couple of the students. So I have, a, hope you have the great rest of the day and look for my email in the morning of fun activities that you can do in addition to your schoolwork. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.